What a great start to the season for the Toronto Maple Leafs as they beat the Ottawa Senators 5-3 at Scotiabank Arena. Now, this game was a very interesting one because Cody Ceci was facing his former team in Ottawa, and the Leafs, holy smokes, they were facing Ron Hainsey, Connor Brown, Nikita Zaitsev, uh, Tyler Ennis. I don't know if there was anybody else that I was missing. But nonetheless, a lot of ex-Leafs on the Ottawa Senators uh, today. And the Leafs, like I said, prevail 5-3. They dominate from the second period onwards. And a great job by the Leafs coming up, coming away with the victory. And let's go through this thing real quick. First period, 25 seconds in. Brady to chuck in front. Gets body position in front of the net. And he buries his first goal of the season. Putting the Sens up 1-0. 25 seconds into the game. But it's the first game. It's the first period. It was the first minute of the season. Let's not dwell on it too much. In the first period, the Leafs do outshoot the Sens 14-12. to They do come on. They have three power plays in the first period, but they can't score anything. It's 1-0 Sens after the first period. Second period rolls around, and as we have learned in the past, that if you, you cannot allow the Leafs to just get many opportunities in a bunch because they will kill you in almost every single time, and just 220 in, Tyson Berry fires the puck on net. It hits off, I think it was like the upper chest, I think it was, of uh, Craig Anderson. It drops. The big man, Freddy Goche, is in front. He falls on his rear, but he buries his first of the year. And the Leafs' first goal of the 2019-2020 season is scored by Frederick Goche. I mean, why not? You know, a big question mark coming into today's game is why the heck was Jason Spezza not in the lineup? And I'll, I'll tell you why. Because Frederick Goche in the preseason has impressed a lot. He's impressed me a ton. He deserves the spot. I'm shocked they had Nick Shore out there, but he didn't look too bad, so that's fine by me. You know, they did a really good job, and I think banging in the first goal of the year, and his first. Frederick Goche and your bottom two lines cannot be just lines you throw out there to kill minutes. That just can't happen. Because for the Leafs, you got to have four lines, or at least three lines, who can score a ton, and a fourth line who can pot in some goals here and there. Because the Boston Bruins destroyed the Leafs in that category last year. Guys like Sean Corrali, guys like, you know, all their depth guys that just crushed the Leafs in the last two games of, this, uh, of, the, of the playoff run. They crushed the Leafs. The Leafs did a great job against Pasternak, Marchand, and Bergeron. The problem was, the other guys... You know, and seeing the Leafs get a goal from Frederick Goche, Barry and Dmitry Timoshov grabbing his first point in the NHL. You know, and it, play, it ties the game at one early on. And as we said, the Leafs, quick strike offense, and a great job by Trevor Moore in front of the beautiful play by uh, Ilya Mikheyev. A great job in front of the net, and Trevor Moore bangs home his first goal of the season, making it a 2-1 Leaf lead just 2 minutes and 22 seconds after the Frederick Goche goal to tie the game. And Rasmus Sandin gets the secondary assist for his first NHL assist, and Mikhaev gets his first NHL point as well. Lots of firsts in the game for um, for the Leafs, and Connor Brown had an assist on that first goal, by the way, but then he's playing the first line, so you kind of expect him to do stuff like that. And then Sabarin scores, a big story about him. He scores uh, just over a minute after Trevor Moore takes the lead. And then not long after that, Ron Ainsey scores, and like that was a 3-2 Senators lead. Well, we just had a 2-1 lead. What the heck happened? Hang on. They go to review. And I love the review, the new review system. The reason I, the reason why I love it is because if you get it wrong, you get a penalty. You don't lose a timeout because who cares? No one cared about a timeout. They just challenge whenever. But now you get a penalty. So, for example, let's say the Leafs did not get that goal call, the 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 review right. They would have been down three two and have a penalty now, and it would have crushed you. So it's a big risk. You have to know for sure to make that call for a review. And they did. And they got it right because it was offside. Not by much, but it was offside. And that right there is the turning point in the hockey game. Because 34 seconds after that. Now, who is number 34? Austin Matthews. 
William Nylander finds Austin Matthews, who buries his first goal of the season. Uh, he's jacked up in a beautiful, I mean, beautiful saucer pass from William Nylander. Anybody saying Willie is not a great player, uh, you clearly did not watch today's hockey game. You saw that pass from Willie Nee. That is why the chemistry between him and Austin are so damn good. And a beautiful feed and a gorgeous finish. Matthews is, is excited. He's electric. He's fired up. And it, it gives the Leafs now a 3-2 lead after the sentence tied it up at 2 and the goal is allowed to make it 2-2 again. And the Leafs take the lead 3-2 just 34 seconds after the goal got disallowed. Morgan Riley grabs a secondary assist on that goal. Six minutes after that, the Leafs go on the power play. At this point, they're 0 for 3. And then Mitch Marner, I mean, you know, that money he's making, it's quite a bit. But when you're making plays like that, I say it's worth it. He the stick handle on the kid, and then he goes. He kind of does like some spin pass to Matthews, and Matthews gets a one timer, top cheese bar and in from Craig Anderson, and it puts the Leafs up now four two. Matthews uh, celebration, not as eccentric, kind of like a yeah buddy kind of thing, and a great job putting the Leafs up four two. And then we go to the third period. The Leafs double up the Sens. They outshoot the Sens seventeen to three. In the second period, crazy second period uh, by the Leafs offensively. An amazing job. Third period, under 10 minutes in, Tyson Berry. Woo! You see that little spin move at the blue line? And he gets down low. He finds Ilya Mikhaev. Cross seam. He finds him. One-timer. Back of the net for his first goal of the season. First goal is leaving first goal in the NHL. And what a night it is. Leafs now up 5-2. And Bobby Ryan scores one late. A horrendous play by, by Frederick Anderson. He... He, you know what? I'll talk about it in a second. A couple things I didn't like about today's game. One was Frederick Anderson, but we'll get to him in a second here. Uh, Bobby Ryan scores to make it 5-3, and that wraps it up. 11-11 shots in the third period, and that wraps it up. The Leafs are now 1-0 on the season. They get in the win column right out of the gate. That's great stuff. And Austin Matthews continues to impress like crazy in first games of the seasons. That's just what happens with him. He's ridiculous. So, yeah, like I said, Frederick Anderson, three goals on 26 shots. Uh, not a very good game for him, 885 save percentage, but nonetheless, he didn't look right. Now, what, we, we, what we've learned in the past is that Freddie, when he doesn't get a lot of shots, kind of has a rough game. It's kind of weird. When he gets pummeled with like 40-something odd shots, he finds a way to get like a one goal against or a two goals against the game and have a great game. Weird. But if this Leaf team is going to play the way, they, the way they did down the stretch in preseason, and at least today, which it won't happen against every team, but I, I'll be impressed you know, and Frederick Anderson, again, on that third goal, I didn't like what he did. I mean, it was a turnover in the neutral zone. He, you know, he, he turned it over, I think, to give it to them initially. And then they centered it in front, and he got like, hit, he hit, he hit it with a stick right to the center of the ice to Bobby Ryan. You don't do that. And then he buries it. You know, and the other two goals, I mean, yeah, you'd love to have one of them back. I think the Sabarin goal was a cross-seam pass. I didn't agree with it because Marenzi got high stick, and people are going to say, well... They already had three penalties up until that point. Yeah, but was it actually a penalty? It should have been. Wasn't called. They go. It leads to a goal. It's cross team pass. Tough save for Frederick Anderson on that one. And the Brady Chuck one. You want to have that one back as well. But it was early in the season. It's his first game of the year. He gets the win. It doesn't really matter. If there's any other things I want to credit the, uh, you know, criticize the Leafs a little bit about, is their faceoff dot. They lost to the Ottawa Senators in faceoffs, 42 to 31. The Leafs won 42.5% of the faceoffs. Against good teams, you're going to get crushed if you if you you know, if you know lose that many faceoffs. But, again, like I said, first game of the season. It's the way it is. Speaking of the first game of the year, what was going to be announced in the first game of the season? The captain, John Tavares, is the new captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs, and it's well-deserved. We kind of saw this one coming, and we don't know if any of the decision was made because of the Matthew spiel that happened not too long ago, or at least that we heard about. Uh, or if it was decided, you know, before then that that was, that was going to happen, then so be it. But nonetheless, he's a captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Probably an honor for him. He's excited. And the way they did it was incredible with his kid. They brought him in the room and his, and his, and his little, his new baby, I think it was, I think it's, I think it's a little baby boy, was wearing his jersey with a C on the chest. And that's how they showed him. That's incredible. That's an amazing way of uh, showing Tavares, you're the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, Great thing there. A great win by the Leafs. They outshoot the the Sens 42-26 in game one of the season. A great job there. You know, 
They were one for five on the power play. They had three penalty kills. They really didn't give up anything on those penalty kills. They did a great job. I thought McKayev was awesome on the PK. I, I'm really starting to like him. He's turning into one of my favorite players on this team right now. I mean, how how tall? He's only six foot two, but he plays and looks bigger. He looks really good. And I've loved the looks of uh, Mikhaev. How old is he? Twenty four, I want to say. Yeah, he's twenty four years old. He's looked great in his first game as a Leaf. Great job there. All right, and his and his by the way. What, all right, so Matthews's power play goal was Marner and Tavares with assists, and Mikhaev was assisted by Tyson Berry only. So let's get to the numbers here real quickly. Frederick Anderson, like we talked about, three goals on twenty six shots, but gets the victory nonetheless. Good job there, Austin Matthews with a couple goals. He had eight shots on net. What a game by Austin. Tried to get that, tried to get that empty netter at the end, but couldn't quite squeak it through. So that was a tough one there. Uh, Mikhaev had a two point night. A goal and an assist was a plus two. He looked. Great. Trevor Moore had the goal. Frederick Gochi with the goal. Tyson Berry with two assists. Sandin with an, San, Sandin with an assist. Timoshev, Riley, Nylander, Tavares, and Marner all with an assist. And the Leafs come up with a victory. A spread out performance. Your fourth line in Gochi scores. You know, your third line in Trevor Moore and Mikhaev score. Uh, Marner technically didn't score a goal, but they got a power play goal, two from Austin Matthews, so a great job overall by the Leafs in this one, coming away with the victory. I was impressed at times. They looked a uh, shaky first period, and overall, I thought they looked fantastic in the second, and they looked all right in the third, but at that point, you already had a two and three goal lead, so you just needed to settle in there, and they did the job, got the job done, and though, no matter what happens, it's two points. That's what matters. All right, so the next game for the Leafs, game two of the season, is Friday night in Columbus as they take on the Blue Jackets in game two of the season. Frederick Anderson, Jonas, Cor Jonas Corpusello is the expected goaltenders in that game to uh, on Friday night. I'm so used to saying tomorrow because the Blue Jays play every damn day. All right, so Friday is the next Leaf game, and it is um, it is a 7 o'clock puck drop there in Columbus. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for oh, 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 I've never screwed that up. I just did it for the first time. That is going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys enjoyed the game today, smack that like button. We appreciate that. Also, if you guys joined the live stream I had today, thank you so much for your support and thank you for coming out and, and watching a little bit of the stream. If you guys did, thank you guys a lot for that. I hit the subscribe button. If you guys have not already, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Who'd you like? Who'd you not like? What'd you think of Cody Cece in his debut? Mikhaev? What'd you think of Frederick Goche? Nick Shore, if you really noticed him at all. What do you think of Frederick Anderson? Let me know in the comments below everything you thought about the Toronto Maple Leafs there this evening. And, um,. And uh, what is it? I will talk to you. Sorry. Twitter is down below. You guys follow up. Send me a DM. Do all that great stuff. And I will talk to you guys in Leafs Edition in game two of the preseason, which is on Friday uh, in Columbus, 7 o'clock puck drop. Frederick Anderson, Jonas Corposalo is the goaltenders expected in that game on Friday night. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Talk to you guys then.